Hi everyone, head coach Peter Fuller here with Chattanooga Football Club. We're at the bubble in Detroit now and we're getting ready to play Los Angeles Force. Without further ado, let's watch this together. So here we are five days later. We're at the bubble in Detroit and we're playing our first game uh, versus uh, Los Angeles Force. LA Force added 13 players um, prior to the bubble. So it was a difficult game for us to really scout um, and get a, get a real feel for them because just really didn't know who was going to play. Obviously, here's an incident that happened early in the game and really affected the game. Um, to be fair, there's no place in the game, in our game, for that. Um, the referee did really, really well here and uh, um, was absolutely correct in sending him off. Um, Zek is lucky he didn't, didn't get hurt worse than what he did. Um, he had a little, we believe, a little bit of a, of a break in his nose, but um, he's a tough kid and he moves on. So, uh, but this was, uh, in, in the end, it ended up being a, a, um, a good break for us because they're a very good team. They, won, they ended up winning this, our group. So it just tells you a little bit about their quality. But uh, um, the, uh, um, you know, it's, it's the fact that he's astounded that he got sent off here is probably the craziest thing in this whole thing. I mean, it just, it, I, I, I have, it's beyond me to think what you were thinking doing something like that in, in, a, in a playoff game. Uh, makes, no, makes no sense. But, um, in a way, I think he gave them a little bit of energy. Um, they played very, very hard uh, the rest of the way. Um, were a real handful for us. Um, and a very, very good team. Um, very good team. They were um, very difficult to play against. Um, here's a, you know, a, a, you know early on, uh, an opportunity that they had. In fact, in fact, I think that's the best opportunity at that point either team had had. Um, but they're, um, they got at us a little bit. And, uh, and that happens sometimes. A guy gets sent off. Sometimes it does give the other team energy. And sometimes it uh, is a great block. Really, really well positioned by Juan to get in a position to, to, to strike it. Um, and uh, corner again, and our first goal of the game. Um, great service uh, by Kyle Carr, and great movement here by Hoff, just to get to the wrong side of that defender right there. And, um, and the service plays him out easily, and Hoff's left on his own to finish. So great goal. Um, again, timing of the service, timing of the movement, Magnificent. So, really, really good. Um, another look at it here. Hoff watches it right to his head. Some of the young ones that are out there and, and you know, wanting to learn how to head a ball. The one thing when you watch that, if you watch it over and over again, he watches the ball all the way to his head. It's very easy a lot of times. It's a natural reaction to close your eyes. Normally, when you close your eyes, your chin goes down and the ball tends to go, go in the air or you miss, or you miss hit it. Um, Hoff did a great job there to watch it all the way to his forehead. Red gets a little touch there, free kick. Probably shouldn't have caused us as much problems as it did, but uh, um, here's Darwin on, a, on a, a little bit of, Darwin gets these little sequences where all of a sudden he just becomes a complete handful to play against. He, he uh, he plays with his heart out on his sleeve and he just works and works and works. And uh, I love the fact here he, he, he eventually gets rewarded for his work because he did so much in this game. He was an absolute handful for, uh, for LA Force. Um, so corner, another one of our corner sets, screenplay um, for Ian sliding over the top of it. Nick comes in on the backside. Bypasses Ian. Ian's basically a, a he's been, Ian's basically a, a, a decoy there. 
Nick gets his, gets his head on it, keeper can't deal with it, and Darwin's there to poke it home. Two goals off set pieces, so um, did very, very well, and had loads of chances, um, loads of chances to, to create uh, um, goals in this game out of the flow of play. A little bit disappointing we weren't able to do more of it, but uh, here we are again, screen for Ian to go to the back, uh, ball played in at the near near post, and now we change it here. Kyle decides to use Ian as a decoy. Comes into Spielman at the back, and Nicky does a great job. We always joke that Nick Nick. Uh, and Nick's a big, big boy. Uh, his, his, uh, Drew Courtney's nick nicknamed him after about 15 minutes of our first training session. Uh, nicknamed him Big Country, and it's stuck. He is Big Country. There's no question about that. But uh, the amazing thing is the amount of headers he wins uh, with a um, minimal amount of jumping off the ground. I'm not sure if you used an old Yellow Pages phone book for Chattanooga that he would jump over it. But, uh, uh, but he has an uncanny ability to get to the right spot, and he wins, I mean, he, he wins everything. Um, he's, he's incredible in that sense. So, um, and, uh, and here he is, boom, right over the top of the guy and finishing. And that's their best guy, that's their best defender he's gone over right there. So you've got to give Nick a boatload of credit. and. Uh, a lot of our success, if you look at it, particularly on our corners, comes off a ball that arrives at him first and then is knocked down for somebody else. Guys that may, people that may remember the Detroit City game um, earlier in the season when we beat them 2-0 two, two up there, was a corner from Juwayne Laidley to Nick in that same spot for a ball that was knotted down to Zeka at the, who'd made the near post run earlier in the sequence to finish. So. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but uh, here we are with a ground shot view. Um, I think we're going to see the corner again. Um, and it's good. I, I, I like that we've got some of these views. There's a, we ran two, this season, we ran two basic sets on corners. Um, most of the, usually focusing on our four best players in the year. So here's Ian with a great chance. Keeper makes a beautiful save on him. Um, it did really, really well right there. Really well. Um, and again, a good ball in from Juan, good entry ball into the in around the D right there. Look at this pass from Juan. This is unbelievable. The ball he's just played to Darwin. And Darwin's upset with himself for not finishing. Darwin loves to score goals. He's a goal scorer. But I think more than anything else, I think he felt embarrassed that he'd wasted as good a pass as we had made all season long. It was unbelievable, the ball he's just played right there. Look at this. Takes it off the half volley, and he hits him dead in stride. That is world class. And I don't say that easily. What a pass he has just made. So... And I, I, I remember when I watched this film at the hotel after the game, I must have played that sequence over about 15 times and I was just sitting there looking at it. It made my, it made my whole day. I mean, it, unbelievable. Here's the so-called penalty on Ryan Marcano. Um, here's a beautiful save by Red and another beautiful save by Red. And... For his troubles of being in the right place at the right time, for doing basically what he's supposed to do, I suppose by the letter of the law, he had his heels maybe up off the line. I don't think he'd really moved away from the line at that point, which should be really the, the measuring stick there. He not only has the penalty called back, but he gets a yellow card for it. So I understand, I understand what's going on, the, the edict from FIFA in, in terms of not wanting goalies, you know, out of the six-yard box and cutting the angle down in that situation. I get it, understand it, um, but
but I, I, I felt this was I felt this was harsh, really harsh. And you know, it's funny the game the game has a tendency itself to even things out, and I think that's what happened right here. What a sequence! Tell you what, I've said it on some of the other ones, the you know the other um, uh, games that we've that we've now watched together. Uh, you at home and, and myself and and Alec Reddington was brought in to be a, to be a third developmental goalkeeper when we brought him in and with the way things happened and with the way things went down this this year ends up having to step in he ends up being the number one and he leads us you know along with others I wouldn't just say I wouldn't just say red he did his job but he was one of the ones, one of the main reasons we were able to win the Eastern Division. And uh, um, he, uh, again, timing, we're up 2 nothing at this point. You know, they score and make it 2-1, to one, all of a sudden they've got en energy that they never had. Uh, the boy Trejo, the, the, the boy who's missed the, the, two, the two penalties, he's just sapped all the energy out of his team by not converting here. And it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's moments, it's moments in games. Um, and Red had his, had his moments the other direction. Certainly, you know, the Oakland game, we had just made it two to one and we really needed him to get out off his line and clear a ball out. And he ended up clearing it into Fondi and it ends up in the back of the net. And again, that's the opposite. You know, you talk about taking the wind out of somebody's sails. Uh, that was, uh, um, that was, that was, uh, it's kind of like the old, uh, it's like the old Pac-Man uh, Pac game uh, we used to play a long time ago, probably before most of you were born. I'm dating myself, obviously, but uh, the little guy that went around waka, 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 and he'd all of a sudden get caught. And woo, 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 woo. That was our energy after the, after the Oakland scored the third goal. So, and I have a feeling that's exactly how LA Force felt right here. It was like, you got to be kidding me. Missed two of them. So, but uh, he's a good player, the boy Trejo, really good player, and he was a handful, an absolute handful all night long, and he worked his socks off in that game. Um, played really, really well against us. Um, there it is, 2-0, LA Force, three points in the bag, off to a great start. We felt like it's going to take five points for sure to get us... Um, into the semifinals, so we're we're more than halfway there at this point. So, um, great game, great start to the bubble. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time.